Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a little helper function to ask your user, are you sure, without having to type all of this every time you want to do it, or even just all of that. We're going to make it nice and short, just like this. Are you sure? That's it. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. Today's question comes from Micah in Burlington, Vermont, one of my Platinum members. Micah says, hey, Richard. Hey, Micah. Is there a shorter or easier way to ask the user, are you sure, in VBA? I feel like every time I want to add a simple confirmation prompt, I have to type out that whole message box line with the VBS no cancel and all those options. It gets repetitive and it clutters up my code. Yeah, I feel you. Um, long time ago, I wrote my own little are you sure prompt, and it makes this so much easier and faster. Let me show you something. I was gonna, I was gonna channel Fire Marshal Bill right now. Let me show you something, but no, no, it's, it's too early for that. All right, first up, developer level video. What does that mean? That means if you don't know VBA and you want to learn, go watch this video first. About twenty minutes long, it'll teach you everything you need to know. Go watch this video so you know how to use the message box function in VBA. You'll need to know how to use if then. And go watch my video on creating your own custom function. These are all free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch all four of those and come back when you're done. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. And let's say I got a customer form here. And let's say I, yeah, I got a button here to open up the order form, right? Let's say I want to ask the user if they're, if they're sure before they open up that you know order form. All right, it's a silly example, but all I care about is the prompt. So go into your button, right click, build event. And let me resize this real quick and turn off that immediate window. Okay, so here I am inside the order button click. Now to ask the user if they're sure, the short way to do it is just to say if message box, are you sure, right? And then your optional parameters. Now I like three parameters in here. I like to say VBS no cancel. And I explain why I like cancel in the other video about message boxes. I like to give people that cancel option because sometimes if they just see yes and no, they panic. They get like decision paralysis. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And they hit cancel. If you don't give them that cancel option, they might accidentally hit the wrong thing. So I like giving people cancel, right? Plus VB question, you got question, you got critical, you got a bunch of other options here for the type of message box it could be. This is question. And again, I go over the types in the, in the other one. And then the last one that I like to put in here is VB default button. Which button do you want to press? One, two, or three? For no, for things like, are you sure you want to you know, delete this customer? I usually make it no. In this case, you'd probably pick one. This is totally up to you. I'm going to go with, I'll go with no here. Let's say this is something critical that's about to happen. Okay. Now, if the answer to that is anything other than yes, so VB yes, then exit sub. Now, that's the shortest I can make that. That's still a lot of typing, even if you know what you're doing, and it still takes you a minute or two to type that all out. And for me, I would say this exact thing here, maybe changing the prompt just slightly, right? Are you sure you want to do this, whatever you're doing? Aside from that, and then maybe adding a title, you could put a title in here too, like, you know, confirm, okay? But that's about as short as that statement gets. And then when you're all done, debug you compile once in a while, close it, close it, save it, open it, click, you get your are you sure button. Now, the goal here is to make that shorter so we don't have to type all that out. So we're going to stick a function, a, we're going to make a helper function, stick it in a global module. I am going to take all of this, we're going to copy this. Let's go out here. If you don't have a global module already, you should make one. Every database should have one. Create, well, every database from a, a, a VBA developer should have one where all your stuff goes, right? That's not bound to a specific form. Create module if you don't have one already. Not class module, regular module. Come in here, come down to the bottom, down here all. We're going to go public function. Function means it returns a value. Are you sure is the name of it. For now, let's just, we're not going to set any parameters in. And then as a Boolean. Boolean is true, false, right? Yes, no. All right, now paste in that code that you copied a minute ago. Boop, right there. Okay, now we're going to change this up just a little bit. We're going to say, if this equals VBS, then are you sure equals true? 
else are you sure equals false and if are there shorter and more compact ways of writing that yeah you could play some tricks and use if functions and this is easy to read i like code that's easy to write and easy to read is it the most compact no but it works and it's it's good and you'll understand it in the future so basically we're popping up the message box and we're saying all right give me a value back if that happens to be yes then you're going to return a true otherwise you're going to return a false all right save that debug compile once in a while come back out here Let's go back into our button code. Now, instead of all this, I can say if not, are you sure, then exits up. Because are you sure is gonna return a true or false answering the question, are you sure, right? You could rewrite this if you wanna do it the other way. You could say if, are you sure, then do that, and if. Right. Either way, it doesn't matter. I usually say, if not, are you sure? I don't like write fun writing functions that return a negative, right? Like not if, are you not sure? That kind of thing. I always like my functions to return true for the name of the function. That's just me, usually. Right. Like it's always is active, not is inactive. That's like a double negative. But this will run the same way now. If I come out here, close it, save it, open it, click it. Right. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. There it is. Works exactly the same. Some parameters you said? Okay, fine, you talked me into it. We can also send in parameters as options here. Usually the only two things that I care about are the prompt and the title, but you could send in the buttons as options. I, like I said, 99% of the time I stick with these, and if I don't wanna use these, guess what? I'll just write this out by hand then for the, the rare message box where I need it customized. But usually I just wanna send in the, the prompt and the title. And I'll put defaults in there for those too. Optional, you have optional parameters, right? Prompt as a string. Give it the value if you don't specify one. Are you sure? Comma, next line down here. Optional title as a string equals confirm or whatever you want the title to say. The default is Microsoft Access if you don't specify it. Right? Now just take your prompt and stick your prompt, meow. And take your title, copy it, and stick your title, yeah, right there. Get rid of that quote. See? So now you get your prompt, your buttons that you always like, and your title, and it works the same. Save it, debug compile, close it, close it, open it, click it. Are you sure? Yep. There you go. And it works nice and easy. And now all you got to do in the future is say, if are you sure then whatever you don't got to type out all of this every time you want to do a message box prompt see and then you add this to your little library of functions and the world is a happier place and i am going to stick this in the code vault for the gold members so you can have a copy of it it's not that hard to make but it's sometimes it's nice just to have it because i don't always copy all of these types of functions into every database that i build and sometimes when I build a new database, I want to be able to say, oh, where's that? Are you sure that I had? Oh, guess what? It's in the code vault. I got a nice little place where all my functions are. Because you don't need all your functions for all your databases, right? So that's the benefit of the code vault. And the code vault's available for gold members. Do you like this kind of stuff? Do you like learning VBA with me? Well, if so, check out my developer lessons on my website. I got 51 levels now of different developer stuff. And I take you from the beginning all the way through and teach you all kinds of cool tricks and tips like this and how to use VBA the right way in your Microsoft Access databases. You'll find a link down below. Here it is right there. And while I got your attention, check out my new merch store. I got all kinds of cool stuff. I got hats. I got cups. I got teddy bears. I got hoodies. I got you name it. I got mouse pads. So all the cool kids are wearing this stuff. So go check it out. <laughs> and that's it. That's a nice, easy, quick way to... Generate a helper function that just, you know, are you sure? Yeah, okay. I just I just saved you about two minutes of typing every time you have to type one of these out. Um, you can thank me later. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? 
Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.